Number 11 on your list is our next plant, Canomaly speciosa. Okay, this is flowering quince. It is in the rose family. Like many in the rose family, it has five petals, numerous stamens. Uh, flowering quince flowers another very early spring flowering species. It uh, typically has uh, pink flowers. This guy does have uh, uh, pink flowers born in very early spring. Alternately arranged leaves in this, and they are uh, generally elliptic and crenate uh, in nature. Okay? So they're widest in the middle and have a crenate uh, serrate margin. What you'll note, again, this is another one of those plants that you're going to want to buy a cultivar. Okay? So this is, typic this is a uh, typical example of the species type. So you can see it's quite large, again, 8, 10, 12 feet tall uh, and very dense in habit. It has these uh, very um, uh, severe thorns that you'll see, particularly on vigorous uh, new growth. And so I uh, do need to keep that in mind if you're planting it near uh, walkways. Okay, so it, it does form a very nice hedge or border. My preference would be to select some of the newer cultivars of uh, Canomales. So there, there's another species, Canomales uh, japonica, and, and, and there are also hybrids between Speciosa and japonica. I think probably the best uh, series of Canomales that's on the market right now is the Double Take series that was developed by Dr. Tom Ranney at North Carolina State University. As the name suggests, this is a double flowered series. They produce virtually no fruit, and if they do produce fruit, they produce no seeds. So it's a sterile, um, uh, sterile series. They are extremely compact, and so they fit into a modern landscape. And they actually come in a full uh, orange, uh, pink, and red uh, series. Uh, the other uh, and the final very key ID feature that I'll share with Canomales uh, speciosa are these persistent stipules. Virtually every plant is, is starts out the year with uh, stipules. These are leaf-like structures that subtend the leaf that are born at the node. But in the case of Canomales speciosa, they are actually persistent. So here we are in late summer and we still have these kidney-shaped, uh, coarsely serrate, uh, persistent stipules that are on the plant. So that is a very uh, good ID feature. Few plants have those large persistent stipules as in Canomales speciosa. So a uh, good tough plant in the landscape provides a number of different seasons of interest, but I would encourage you to be careful when you're selecting uh, the cultivar for get one that fits into your landscape.